what we're going to do today is make one of these parlour rings. or abalone, whatever you want to call it. So what I first uh, came across was, this is just picked up off the beach, an old abalone shell, power shell. And once you've cleaned it up and polished it, this is what you get. So this is a reasonable size power shell. You can get all sorts like uh, a younger one. It's got a really nice looking pinky white gleam to it. So then I get a Dremel and with a small circular blade on it and just slice the shell into strips like this. So this is the insert ring I'm going to put it into. So you, you pretty much cut the uh, slithers to fit inside there. And then I chop them down into five four to five six mil pieces so first off what you're going to need is grab your ring a bit of glue super fix or quick quick fix and I just do it a bit at a time, put a patch of, uh, start it off with a piece there, get my tweezers and select what side of the shell you want, which is the nicest colours, just stick it, oh, you just, and you want a, a nice square ends on these shells as well just so they match in without any gaps. Just like that. So we'll glue that one there. Doesn't take long to set. My fingers are already starting to stick. A bit more. Select another one with a nice colour. So we'll just carry on with that right around the uh, whole ring. So once you've done all that, here I've already finished another one that I'm, sorry not that one, this one here, as you can see they're not uh, perfectly flat so that doesn't matter if a bit's protruding out like that because what we're going to do is uh, put a bit of um, embedding, re uh, embedding resin over the top and we'll uh, make sure it sets quick. So that's our next step. So they're like, you know, even like that's looking pretty good. These are pretty much um, junk. What I mean by junk, they're not gold. It's it's like a little steel insert ring. So the, this colour is going to get uh, sanded off. The only way to keep that colour for these sort of rings as so it's real gold or if you've got a small lathe you could actually lave it off perfectly without touching the sides here to keep that gold. Well that's the only way I know how to do it anyway. So what we'll do is we'll mix up some resin 
and start putting it on the ring. So what I what I've got here is clear cast. I use a little dropper because I'm not going to use much. Now I use the catalyst to make it go hard, just uh, the more drops you put in the quicker it's going to go so uh, we want it to go quite quick. You can buy ultraviolet um, resins that set with ultraviolet sunlight or light but I couldn't find that. Also, you can put colour pigments into this stuff if you wanted to as well. So, I've just got a tapered piece of wood. So, this is just so I can turn it while I'm letting it drip around the sides. Doesn't matter if you. Uh, get it all over the ring because you're going to sand it, buff it later anyway. All you really want to do is get it all into those gaps. You can actually see it running around the outside of this ring, so that's why I'm turning it just so it gets an even coat. So this is what I actually stick into the drill as well. After this is set, I leave it for about 24 hours, so it's nice and hard. And then I uh, stick stick it into the drill, as you can see there, this part goes into the drill. It's a little bit off centre, I did it with the old iometer, so it's not perfect, but it does the job. You should see all those nice colours come up when it's buffed as well, because this will set a little bit, uh, it will set clear, but when you start sanding it, it goes cloudy until you get down to a really fine polish it turns out like glass so while I'm doing this it'll set and I won't be able to see anything running it just gets harder and harder Right, that's pretty much set hard enough that I can just let it set for overnight. So what I'm going to do is just put that down and um, carry on with that first one I was doing. Glue them all in.
when you're cutting the stuff, make sure you wear a mask, it's really nasty. All the dust. With these sort of rings, I suppose you could put anything in there. Beads, shattered, shattered small pieces of glass to make it look like diamonds. Set that one down, let it sit. Right, we've got this set after 24 hours. So what we're going to do is we're going to rip it down with 100 grade sandpaper. Go to a 220 and then to a 320 and carry on until we get it to a polished finish so I've got this set up in just in a drill and a, in a vice so we'll get on to it see how it turns out Coming down nicely, that was with 220, so we'll carry on with the 320.
Yes, and I know it's all off centre, that's what's vibrating a lot, but it does the job. And that's come up really good. So we'll just start going down in sandpaper grip right till a thousand, then I'll get onto a polishing uh, wheel with um, Yeah, well, I'm pretty impressed with that. So next we'll get onto a buffing wheel. Right, we'll go and give them a bit of a clean up, have a look inside. Right, that's it after it's cleaned up.